Good morning, loved ones. I hope you had a good night's sleep. I wish, you know, I, I, I feel like there was a distance, you know, time not too long ago when I actually very often did have a good night's sleep and I was speaking of uh, how fortunate I was, you know, for not having sleep issues. Feels like a very, very long time ago. I um, I can't remember when I had like a full night's sleep. It was sometime in early pregnancy, you know, like I think over a year ago for sure. Then started with, you know, going to the bathroom very often in the night and then starting to get cramps and uh, not being able to move and so on and so on. It just kind of increased and now uh, it's a baby crying and wanting to eat, you know, quite often. So we were discussing, you know, when we're going to stop, you know, with the feeding, uh, the breastfeeding and, and I want my independence, you know, I, I, um, I want to be able to, you know, go away for a night or, um, you know, not leave her for, for a day, you know, um, and also of course, we want her to, you know, be able to to eat, you know, proper food because when she when she has the option of the milk, she she's choosing the milk. So it's going to be my my boyfriend that that is in charge of, you know, that transition. And we have no idea how to deal with it. Like I've been I've been reading a lot now and how you're doing it, and you take away one meal at a time, you know, little by little, and. Uh, uh, I feel like I just kind of have to stay away. Like um, he's gonna have to deal with it because my heart breaks. Now when I take migraine medicine, I don't breastfeed in four hours. Uh, and today I, I had to do that because I have um, migraines. Um, so, um, so I was like, you know, I, I did a little bit of pumping and then I was like, you're gonna have to deal with it because if she's in my arms and she can't eat, you know, she's getting so angry with me. Whereas like he doesn't have that to offer. So, so that is a little bit easier for him. Um, so, so I'm praying, you know, that he's not home with a crying baby constantly for this one and a half, two hours that I'm away when I'm recording uh, this class and the one hour session for my patrons today. <laughs> Let's hope. Um, but I'm very, very grateful that, that Gemma is six months old and that everything so far has been, you know, so, Kind of easy uh it's been um it's been very light and wonderful and uh, and she's such a happy baby you know even in the night in the middle of the night when she wakes up and she's a little bit cranky and then i come you know to her bed and she lights up she's like and you know you can't be annoyed even you know with a little baby being that happy when she sees you so my heart just melts and I'm like, whatever you want, you know, I'm here for you. And, um, yeah, <laughs> I'm very, very grateful to be her mother. And, uh, and I think she's uh, the most fantastic baby in the world. Of course, <laughs> she's mine, eh? but uh, that's lovely. Uh, I'm also very grateful for having such a fantastically supportive partner. He is, um, he's a wonderful father and a wonderful partner in, in, you know, my, struggle since i fell in the stairs um on tuesday um i haven't been able to move the same way it's fine for me to breastfeed and do stuff like that but when i try to you know do this movement now it's much better but um uh, just for a few days i couldn't do that so he had to take much more responsibility during the night normally i am in charge of the nights penny come here penny come here I'm trying to distract her. Okay. Can you show some tricks? Lay down. Lay down. High five. <gasps> Dance. Oh, good girl. You're so good when you want to be good, huh? when you're motivated, huh? which is not too often. Huh? very good at tricks when she's motivated 
but um, she's not very good in uh, behaving. <laughs> Period. Um, I'm very, very grateful also for um, my program of recovery. I was just on the phone with a sponsor of mine in my codependency program, and you know, I've been so sick in that, and um, and working with others really keeps me on track. Uh, I. I would absolutely not be where I am today if it wasn't for my program of recovery. Even with the yoga, I would never have started this because the way I was before, I wanted to be, you know, number one from the beginning, which is impossible, you know. And also with so many fantastic yoga teachers in the world, I, I have no ambition to be number one. If some people like what I do, I'm very happy with that. And apparently right now it seems to be 163,000. So just magical you know so amazing i'm very very happy for that um let's and grateful very grateful get down on your sitting bones and straighten your back up oh i'm gonna share another story i got an email today from a, a girl uh, who had just finished 365 days of yoga and gratefulness and um and uh, you know receiving these emails like please share with me i'm so happy to hear you know that you shared this experience with me because sometimes i feel lonely i know i'm not but i feel it uh, so please if, you, if you're with me every day share that with me i respond to all the emails that aren't like abusive in any way and uh, and i'm very very happy to hear from you also don't forget to subscribe to patreon for a one hour session today Get down on your sitting bones and straighten your back up. Close your eyes and focus on the area between your eyebrows. Get the back in here. Observe your breath. Where is your body? Your breath. We're going to start taking control over our breath on the inhalation. Feel how your belly is expanding. On the exhalation, drag your belly button towards the spine. We're gonna do uh, the breath of fire and we do that by pushing our belly button towards the spine quick and hard. Inhale.
very good job. We're going to do a hip roll in here. And we're going to switch direction. We're also going to do a forward bend. So come out with your legs to the side. Straighten your back out. And exit bend to forward. Wow. So stiff. If you want more yoga, subscribe to Patreon. We're going to do a one hour session. It will be slow today because of my body. <laughs> uh, but, uh, but there's more one hour sessions. So if you want more, uh, don't hesitate to subscribe on Patreon. There's a link below. Also, if you're not yet a subscriber here, you should subscribe. I always forget saying that. Straighten your back up, close your eyes and focus on the area between your eyebrows and third eyelid. Let this eye lead you to the area around your heart. In this area you find an inner room where you're going to spend some time just focusing. There's nothing that has been and nothing that will come. It's only you in this moment. Ah, 
to your heart feet. Follow your heart and be kind to yourself and talk to yourself. Namaste. Thank you so much for today. Ah. <laughs> uh, remember to go out there and give. Uh, I was reminded today uh, that I, I, I am and I uh, have spoken about being the change that you want to see in the world. I still think that is my goal, you know, and uh, especially now in times of war and stuff, you know, go and think of, of being that change that you want to see in this world. I love you guys and I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>